Welcome to Better Gear, the show about making bad gear better. Today we are going to talk about how to turn a much reviled TR505 into a highly praised TR909. Of course this is some kind of exaggeration, because those two drum machines are based on entirely different concepts. While the TR909 is mostly analog, the TR505 is an entirely sample based instrument. And those samples are what we will be messing with today. Better Gear is a spin-off of Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools. After the release of the almost legendary TR-505 episode of Bad Gear, I had a longer conversation with Ewan Kalsel, who is specialized in mods and hacks of digital instruments like the TR-505. He is also specialized in juggling chainsaws while riding a unicycle. Ewan offered to send me a custom-made app ROM for the TR-505 loaded with 909 samples. He also sent me a PCB needed to fit the new app ROM into the 505. I want to take the opportunity to thank him for giving me all this stuff for free. I also want to express my gratitude to Raimund, one of my closest friends who did all the soldering work and without whom this episode would not have been possible. Because, fun fact, I totally suck at soldering. Let's get right to it. In addition to Ewan's EPROM and PCB, we used a soldering iron and all the other usual suspects like screwdrivers, pliers and so on, a socket to fill the void left by the original EPROM after desoldering it, and pin strips to connect the PCB to this socket. It is possible to implement a bank switch option, in case you are using an EPROM that has enough space for more than one sample set, probably in another episode. The most challenging part was desoldering the original 505 EPROM, and it took us quite some time to get it out without damaging the drum machine. Soldering in the socket for the PCB was comparably easy. The next step was to populate the PCB with the pin strips and EPROM. Almost finished. As the final step, we attached the PCB to the EPROM socket of the TR505, and I had the privilege of brutally butchering the plastic enclosure of the drum machine to make room for all that stuff no one at Roland would have even dreamed of in 1986. Done. Let's see if that works. Let's put this beauty back together again. Cool, I'm really excited to hear some beats played on the TR-505 Rhythm Imposter. I really enjoyed that one. The 12-bit engine of the 505 adds a nice crunch to the well-known 909 samples. Let's hear it in a jam with some synth and effects units. Verdict. I like the Roland's TR-505 and I really like 909 drum sounds. It's cool to have both in one package. What is more, the vintage converters of the 505 add a nice touch to the new samples. Some limitations of the 505 still remain. Samples can't be pitched and individual outputs would be nice. But those can be addressed with other mods. Thanks again to Raimund and Ewan for making this possible and thank you for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment what other gear and mods you would like to see and hear on the show.